Hello everyone and welcome back to Harmonizing Endless Space, last episode. We researched a lot of things actually. We finished this branch off this um, diplomacy tree. And the Empire declared war on us. Uh, we're going to go ahead and end the turn right here because we have nothing to do right now. Except defend. And expand our little circles here. Last episode was also... The first 60 frames per second video I have produced. Um, it takes a long time to render though. Since it's double the file size, double the frame rate, it's also double the rendering time. Not surprisingly. Should we do this? I kind of want to send them here. Because what they're doing is pretty much trying to weaken this fleet. And then send their invasion fleet over, which is right there. Hmm. What fleet was? What fleet did this used to be? Epsilon fleet. Okay, it was it was a Simic fleet, pretty much. We're we'll going ahead and send this one over here and then merge it with Alpha fleet. Yeah. Well, yeah, it takes a really long time to render. And also, if you haven't noticed, I changed two uh, different codec, a uh, rendering codec that is to WMV because it doesn't make it really dark in the video and I, I like it. I can't use GPU rendering however but it's better than having a video that has a lot of levels but still doesn't look as good so yeah. And I also apologize for the frames dropping not really much I could do I could try turning on v-sync but uh, it, doesn't, it won't do anything because I, I set the target frame rate of this game to 60 anyway so I'm not sure pretty sure it's just a computer because um, there's a lot of process a lot of processing and stuff for the AI so yeah not too I'm probably not gonna do anything though it only drops down to 48 or so most of the time. It drops lower than that for like the, what you call it, the loading screens. You know, and it's pretty much the normal stuff that's I'm um, doing that, but yeah. Um, I don't want to send the home fleet. Okay, Delta, go, go take a look. Okay, we researched, I missed this, uh, troops, I think, was the last one. Yeah, we should do this too. Yeah. Because, uh, plus 10% damage, maximum and minimum, and defense per resource. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Why not? Okay, we're gonna do the warp drives. Which, um, I read it, because I, I haven't played this game for quite a while, so it pretty much, if you if I say I want to go from here to here, it will just um, use the uh, warp links, the little lines here, and then it will warp drive over. It's pretty slow though, but yeah. I didn't add any ships to this, I forgot. I might also create dedicated ships. Like, you know, a ship dedicated to just lasers or a ship dedicated to kinetics because th those are, I, for I forget the formations, but, you know, those are pretty good on their own. We just mix them up with the fleet. So we just have a whole bunch of lasers shooting all over the place and whatnot. I might do that in this episode, actually. 
go first. Let's battle. Um, now we're not too worried. Just actually, the uh, guillotine all the way. Get rid of those cruisers first. Yeah, part is gonna create dedicated laser ships. Um, cause it's honestly better. I'm also gonna hide the HUD because maybe I record a new intro sequence. You know, considering how far we we are, we are in the game right now, so yeah, I'm not too concerned about what's happening. They're just healing themselves a lot. Yeah. And I think we destroyed their cruiser. I mean, not cruiser destroyer. Set back. Oh no, we destroyed their fleet. Holy crap. That was incredible. So yeah, maybe I use that as a neutral. You'll, you'll see it. Don't worry. You'll, you'll see that part. Start the invasion sequences. Mm, I'm not sure. Let's do this. The rumblers, since we have those new modules, the special module? Yes, special. Reduce that. Go for invasion oriented bombers. 25 tons. Uh, we already do something that for that. Let's see. Uh, um. Okay, it doesn't really help me much. Troopers are numerous. Ah, uh, whatever. I think everything's upgraded as well. So let's just make this a full laser ship. If we could squeeze in kinetics, we'll do that as well. Yep. The Rumbler 2. We'll go ahead and create... How many ships do we have right now? 10 ships. And these use one command point. And we have a total of 14 command points, I believe. Yes, we do. So we shall create four Rumblers while we're here. And then go ahead and convert at the end of that. Okay. Oh, we already merged. Okay. So yeah, that should take care of that invasion fleet. This will just orbit, hopefully, and nothing happens. We may get Cetus finally. Get that planet system. I keep saying planet, but it's a system. Anyway, we should be able to gain a foothold, expand the empire. Ideally, this is what I want to do. If they expand here, I want to cut them off right here at their capital. At their home world, home system. Take every every system around it and leave Batten by themselves. And they just have like a whole bunch of fleets in the closest systems to destroy them. Ideally. Guy. Ugh. Open overlock all the way. Go ahead. Oh, let's take that. Scouter. Scouter rent. Scouter rent M plate. Sc sc scouter rent template? Oh, scout. Scouter. Scouter rent template? 16. I don't know. <laughs> take him out. Not gonna survive this retreat. There we go. So yeah, once we get those rumblers set up, we'll go ahead and send the invasion fleet over. And then when the warp drives are done, we'll just send them over to Botha. Why not? Just send this fleet over. Okay. Emerald Revenge. I made that ship. What does it have? Mostly missiles. Oh, it has the bombers, that's right. The Emerald Revenge has bombers. And we have two of them. Good. Create and create. Send them there. 
and we can't do anything with you. We have to get rid of one ship. Hmm. Probably get rid of uh, some ship. I don't remember. Um, a Defender 3 probably. Those ships are pretty outdated right now. Weapon overlock, please. Actually, no. Barrier. And just weapon overlock it. Uh, it's just three ships. Not to worry. Mm, ship formation. And defensive. Which means it will put the cruisers up in the front anyway. Because they're they have the highest hit points in our fleet. I also set Bandy Cam to do the stop automatically record. Auto stop record. So if it happens to cut off when I say bye. Before I say bye. I'm just going to. It's going to cut straight to that. So yeah. Hopefully. I remember. Because I have an eye on it right now. Yeah, look at that. Those kinetics do quite a bit of damage. Like, oh, I think we has lasers. Boom, we have a whole bunch of kinetics, sucker. Okay. Rumbler 2. Uh, I'm just gonna start s sending uh, the, that fleet over. As long as Delta Fleet supports their defensive, we'll be happy. Zeta Fleet, begin invasion. We have Annex Cetus. Cetus. They have came with more ships. Probability 100. Okay, I guess we didn't need those other ships back there. Um, open overlock, formation, defensive, guillotine, should be what, cruiser 9, holy crap, but they're split in between, so hey, what's this, oh, let, let's uh, read this before we start attacking, land invasion report, see this, say this, whatever. Invasion. Succeed. Ownership. 5%. Troops. Remaining. 1. Fighters. Bombers. Remaining. <laughs> remaining. 24. So we didn't lose anything. They did lose population. They lost 9 population. Uh, and some improvements. The public-private partnerships and star system improvement. So <laughs> ideally we just bomb the living crap out of them and only like Let's just say a thousand people survive. Uh, but we gain the system. Finally. Okay, what's your strengths? Food. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. So let's go ahead and start improving this system. that and yeah that should be fine and then we go attack that was successful strangely I did not think it was gonna happen that fast I wish they had like little cutscenes for that it's a little bit weird I should like do it ten times for the different factions yeah I should attack the cruisers first the cruiser and is concerning lots of lasers and lots of missiles that's quite concerning but we should be able to press forward. Because they'll be like, uh, we'll just retreat. We'll take one of your ships first, though. I'm just gonna get rid of that scout, please. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. So close. I've noticed that when I talk, there's like a sort of an accent stuck in there somewhere. It's just the way I talk, unfortunately. Okay, send Zeta fleet that's away. I didn't think that was going to work out that well. What's this right now? So we're 5% owner of an outpost. So, you know, it says this outpost is currently being assimilated into your empire initially. Approval below. 
They don't really care. My empire does not care about your approval. I care about your population, though. So, essentially, what that means is that when you take over something, there's a, there's a waiting period, essentially. It's like with any invasion territory thing. Oh. Should I give it a try? Oh, we did stick a carrier in here. I just noticed that. Let's do it. Go. I can't believe we got Cetus of that fast. And we're about to get another system. System grabbing. I love these little destroyers. I love how they do the little um, roll left or right. It just makes it look realistic. Instead of just having a ship fly straight and not do anything. It's a shoot. This game, even though it's like two years old by now, does not age badly. Age quite sweet. It ages quite well. <laughs> oh man, look at that. Nope, where is it? All those spiders. And then the bomber. Can I switch bombers now? How do I switch? Yep, that's a bomber. Just one bomber. Oh man! That frame drop it went down to like 18. Holy crap. Dude, that was just overkill. I'm pretty sure you saw my frame drop dramatically. It went from what, like 60 to like... Um... Oh, we lost uh, troops, unfortunately. I'm not sure how you restock on troops. But they lost 13,000 of their population. We're just going to assume it's thousands. Because I don't know how to do it. But we did destroy uh, their science improvements, unfortunately. But we kept all of them. Ownership, zero. Meaning that we must assimilate. Yeah, we got we got merge them in slowly. I did not think that was gonna work out like that. Hey, 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 what's this? You want a ceasefire? You declared war on us. Hold on. You get no ceasefire. You shall die. So yeah, as long as we have a fleet there they should not be able to get through there what are you called oh, emerald revenge or is that together please um let's go ahead and scuttle a defender three why not well mm, who's low on ships right now no one so we're gonna take you out and let's band you into the hangar but then we will if I did that right. Is it this way? No. Other way. Home into episode. Home. I always get that confused. But yeah, look at that. We've gained territory. We're expanding our empire. Such shame. It's quite an... Well, ooh! This is good. This is good. This is good. This is something I actually like we're gonna focus heavily on industry on the system because you look at it at it um lava planet even even though it's either science or dust but since we don't want dust and science is okay but we could focus industry on this system and therefore make more ships Man, not think that was gonna work out this episode. This has been an, an ev eventful episode. Man, I can't talk right now. Hey, you came back. You should learn your lesson. No, don't retreat. <laughs> oh, that would've been bad. Uh, let's see. 
Defensive formation. Automatic. We're not going to watch it. We watched far too many battles this episode, but we haven't lost anything. Uh, what have they got incoming? Just a whole bunch of ships. So yeah, this warp gate's quite available right now. So we gotta keep that fleet there. Gotta hold this fleet there with their overpowered ridiculousness. I did not think that was gonna happen like that. And then once we get the wormhole, we'll just warp them over here, these ones. Same thing with that. Actually, is that no? No, never mind. Did I think that was gonna happen? Holy crap. We have succeeded on expanding our empire. Who's on the run now? Not not us. Oh, oh, hey look, they came back. Two fleets. Take you one by one. Magnetic. Oh, actually, hold on. Overlock. Barrier. We're gonna watch this one. This might be the last battle for today anyway. Quite amazing. So, oh, I didn't set guillotine. So we're just going to do defensive formation, essentially, all the time. We need to help protect our smaller ships. Or our bigger ships. I don't know which way it goes. Actually, defensive. Highest defense. Yeah, so it'll be like the carriers, and it'll be like our latest ship that will do that. It's like they, they skipped out on defenses on their ships, unfortunately. They supposedly have the best ships in the game, in this universe, according to the faction trait. But we just destroy them all the time, for some reason. Okay. Um, 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 um. Do not create that Defender 6, please. Wait, I created Defender 6s? Oh, shoot. Wait, hold on. No, shoot. Wrong, wrong, wrong ship. Oh, I'll just send them over here anyway. That'll be your defense fleet for the day. And... We're gonna do two turns really fast. I wanna show you the wormhole. Get the Aldebaran fleet to pop them. Emerald Revenge has been built. And a whole bunch of Defender 6s are being built. Am I building a fleet here or something? Probably. Um, create, do that as well. Thank you. Oh, yes, yes, expansion. All right, atmospheric filtration. A first step. In purifying and preparing planets for colonization or terraforming consists of reducing toxic elements in the atmosphere and creating tolerable chemical balances. Balances. Recent scientific advances mean that these processes can also be applied to gas giants. That means we... Oh, we colonize gas giants. We just can't do anything with it. Oh, it also gives us more power. Cool. And our battleship is in 18 turns. Okay. Um, oh, that was horrible. I accidentally clicked out outside, outside the screen. With the technology you have unlocked, you are no longer constrained by cosmic strings and wormholes. Your only limit is your ambition. Therefore, we do this. We must just flee first. And watch this. Boom. So next turn. And unfortunately everyone, with that, it is the end of this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. We have succeeded in gaining two systems in one episode. More than I had planned. I didn't even plan to get anything at all. But we have succeeded. And maybe next episode we'll take the Empire down to their knees. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, leave a comment, follow me on Twitter, etc. And I'll see you guys next time.